Department of Labor leaders are hard at work making sure Montanans receive their unemployment checks, but not everyone is seeing the benefits they deserve. The Rebound Montana's Keely Van Mittendorf explains. City bus driver Mark Statham was furloughed from his job due to COVID-19 back in March. He'd previously worked as a seasonal truck driver and had applied for unemployment benefits before. So I really had an advantage, I thought, compared to most people. But he soon found out a filing error on the state's part would lead to months of uncertainty and frustration. But it's just closed door, closed door, closed door. End of call. He reached out to the Department of Labor and Industry multiple times, hoping to correct their mistake. Two times out of, I think, 213, two times it was I was able to get an answer. Statham says he was told his case would be settled and his benefits approved. But after more weeks of waiting, still no follow-up. Non-pay due to unresolved issue from 411, 509, 516. Statham says it was only after he called Senator John Tester's office this month that his case was settled that same day. Then unemployment um, gave me a call back and said, oh, we just processed that this morning. He worries others that don't have as much determination aren't getting through. You have to throw a pretty big rock to get somebody to listen. <phone rings> Surprise. That dial tone means that they have, did not get into the queue. DLI spokesperson Lauren Lewis told MTN News there is still a way to speak to an operator, but doesn't guarantee all calls will be taken. Statham also attempted to leave a half dozen emails through the DLI site with no luck. I've got an updated computer. When you write a note to them and hit submit, boom, it throws you into a page that says error. He says the option to even email the state disappeared on some pages. Your claimant handbook, uh, in Spanish, nothing in there about how to contact them. Lewis told MTN News the department is currently updating features on their site. We did initially take down the dashboard on the UI claimant portal to stabilize the system. Lewis says callers who dial and email the department repeatedly are only hampering efforts to help fellow Montanans. It's absolutely congesting our incoming line. Statham says he understands the department is inundated right now, but believes improvements must be made. They should open the phone. They should pick up the phones. You know, I know they're busy, but man. Lewis says they received 2 million calls in April compared to 13,000 for the month of February. We've shifted approximately 200 staff members to assist our UI division. She says they also have 75 people solely focusing on cases with more employees in training. We have lots of employees here working for the, you know, the Montanans that really need help at this time. The DLI has seen a 1,452% increase in initial UI claims since Montana saw its first COVID-19 case. They've issued $376 million in unemployment benefits since March 16. Processing Montana's claims really is our top priority. Statham says he's able to forget everything except what he feels is an attempt to block concerns as officials deal with cases. I've called at a firewall several times. They have blocked calls. Tester says there are problems within any department, but it will take everyone to find better solutions. Get them to your federal uh, delegation. Uh, you know, tell your county commissioners about it. I, I just think there, if there's an opportunity to spread good ideas around, I think we need to do it. Statham says the pandemic has left his family to run on one income and can't help but wonder how many other Montanans are in his situation or worse. They can't collect the benefits that they've earned. He's left at a standstill until he can return to a new normal. Beef it up. Um, we're having an emergency here. You guys are working. Your paychecks are coming in. In Great Falls, Keely Van Middendorp, MTN News. DLI says many Montanans are getting their benefits. In April, 78.7% .7 of all Montanans who filed received their benefits within one month. Now we have more ways to get in contact with DLI on KTVH.com.